In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called using mass percent composition to find solution volume. In this problem, you'll be given three pieces of information. You will be told what a student or a chemist needs. In this problem, I need five grams of isopropyl benzene. You will also be given an amount and a percent composition of a solution. And your goal is to figure out how much of this particular solution do I need to take in order to get this desired quantity, this five grams of isopropyl benzene? So for this problem, we are going to be using this percent composition as a conversion factor between the solution and the desired substance. We, we're gonna begin by setting up this conversion factor. So when we see that it is 20.3%, 20, 20 WW means weight, weight. The way that we interpret that is that we have 20.3 grams per every 100 grams. And you can see how the 20.3 divided by 100, if we multiply it by 100, that's gonna give us the 20.3%. Now this in itself is not enough. It needs to have some more specific units besides just grams. So the units that we're working with here um, is that we have 20.3 grams of this substance, isopropyl benzene. I'm just gonna abbreviate it IPB, isopropyl benzene, for every 100 grams of the solution. So again, this is the conversion factor that I'm creating from the 20.3% information. It's going to be solute, whatever the solute is, over the solution. And this is what I'm going to use to convert my desired quantity uh, of the pure isopropyl benzene into the quantity of solution that I need. So here's how we're gonna set up the conversion factor. We're gonna treat it like any conversion factor. So we start by writing the piece of information that we know. We know that we need five grams of isopropyl benzene. We need to convert that mass of isopropyl benzene into mass of solution. That's what we're trying to figure out, mass of solution. So we want units of isopropyl benzene down on the bottom so that those units will cancel each other out. And we want mass of the solution up on top. And then we're just going to plug in this conversion factor that we created from the percentage composition. 20.3 grams of isopropyl benzene, so that goes down on the bottom for every 100 grams of the solution. The isopropyl benzene units cancel, and then we just need to do the math. Five times 100 divided by 20.3. And this tells me that I need 24, it says three significant figures, 24.6 grams of the solution. Now, what do we do with this information? The problem tells us 420 grams. For this particular problem, we don't do anything with this information at all. But it is possible, um, if you read this part right here, it says if there's not enough solution, press the no solution button. The no solution button is right here. So it's possible that this number that we calculate right here might be greater than the available quantity. So for example, let's just consider what if instead of 420 grams, what if it said that we only had 4.2 grams of this solution and I calculated that we needed 24.6. That would be a situation where we wouldn't have enough available. And then I would hit the no solution button because I calculated a quantity that is greater than what's available.